Now we're just going to verify from Rach. And if not, we're going to go anyway. Good to go. Oh, this is good. It's not going swimming. Exciting. Okay, welcome to round number 10, the St. George's Base round. This round is sponsored by Pro Lure. They've been with us, I think, for two years now, uh, maybe going to three, um, as a lot of companies here to uh, really value our relationship with what we're doing as a sport is kayak fishing. Um, there's only two rounds left. After this is only Marlowe, and uh, there's a quite a few guys that are looking for those points. And why these points are angle your points is they make the Australian team to go to Hubby Fishing Worlds. Now, number eight was just held on the Gold Coast. Number nine is next. I can't tell you where it is, but I tell you, you really want to make this team. We've got some exciting fisheries for you to do and some exciting fish for you to uh, catch. Um, this particular weekend, we have anglers from South Australia, New South Wales, Queensland, ACT, and Victoria. We have 104 anglers, the largest round in New South Wales that we've ever had, and we very much appreciate all the support that you've done it. Um, we have lots of divisions in here for those who are watching for the first time or here uh, spectating. We have a youth division, which is 16 to 21 years of age, a women's class, a master's, which is 60 to 64, grand master's is 65 years and over, and first time entries that if you're new to kayak fishing and you're kind of scared of comps, you come in, you fish for free, you can find out how fun it is, and then join us. Everyone fishes for the open, but you also get to then uh, take and fish against your own peers. Now, this particular weekend, the basin has been fishing a little bit on the soft side. Uh, yesterday, um, on day one, we had a, um, a total of 128 fish caught that we brought to the Waymaster, and uh, they weighed in at 79.3 kilos. That's half the field did not get fish. Now, the good news is, is those who did get fish, we've got some very, very good bags. Um, I'd like to definitely thank the, uh, the following people without these whom would not make these events possible. And they've been supporters for some of these guys for since 2009. They saw what Hobie Cat does as a company. They saw the movement of kayak fishing and uh, they really absolutely came on board and we're very pleased and privileged to have them. Uh, Daiwa is not only a naming rights sponsor for the domestic series, they're also sponsoring our Hobby Fishing World Series, and we've got a three-year contract, and that's Daiwa Di Di Japan. That's how strong these guys believe in what we're doing. Power pole, a lot of guys say, what's a power pole? It's a shallow water anchor, and you might see a spike on the back of these kayaks. It's a little, little motor, and you put a button on here, it then takes and goes into the sand, holds your position, and makes it easier to catch these fish. Most of the kayaks are fitted with a fish finder, and the one that has hopped on the longest is Lawrence. They make perhaps some of the best fish finders and depth sounders in the world. We're very pleased. Gerber, new to Hubby for about a couple years, they make tools, and now they've got a brand new laid um, a range of uh, saltwater tools, whether it be knives or braid cutters. TT Lures, they're out of Queensland. Lure Fans, Strike Pro, Mortgage Corp, my good friend Neil Carstairs. Hi, Neil, how are you going? Hubby Polarized Pro Lure, this particular round. Cranka Lures. Uh, JML and also this whole year has been the support of uh, the dealers and this particular weekend is Daryl Head and Chris Purnell from Totally Immersed Water Sports. So uh, put your hands together for these sponsors and for these dealers please. It's greatly appreciated. Now this particular weekend anglers are fishing for cash and prizes and I haven't looked at the check but it's got to be somewhere in the plus $2,000 range. Just short of that. Oh it's $3,000. Okay, there you go. So we've got tons of money to throw at you. Prizes, all of our sponsors' packs. Most of the packs start off about $150, go up to $350. And the nice thing about our packs are the lures that you guys use and the, the lines here. Now, the Atomic Big Brim. Atomic is a lure for all you anglers. You know that. For those who watch it, they're distributed by Frogley's Offshore in Queensland. That's Michael Starker, who's been on board for a number of times. And what they've done, they put $100 cash up for the biggest brim over the two-day period. Currently, Mr. Corey Gallagher from Victoria has got a, a nice yellowfin brim at one 1.18 kilos. Another fantastic prize is from Mortgage Corp is the Monster Mover. It's kind of an encouragement award to where the person improves from day one to day two. So you can have a very bad day and get zero fish or donuts as we call it. Have a cracking bag on day two and you've made the most change in your weight from day one to day two. You've got an excellent prize coming that way from a Mortgage Corp. This particular weekend we have fished for three fish per section. 
It's a total of six fish over the two-day period, and the heaviest cumulative bag takes home the prizes. They're also fishing for brim, and that's the only thing you can catch, um, and they're 26 to the tip, and that's above state legal limit. That way, all the fish are kept in these live well at all times, if they're inspected, are above state legal limit, and that's very important for us running competitions. Now, this morning, we got away uh, just before 7 o'clock, from the uh, starting line, we had four markers out there. Um, and one thing that played a bit of strategy today was that wind forecast. Now yesterday were very idyllic conditions, kind of that six knots southerly, southeasterly breeze, high cloud cover, light wind made the bite very, very good for must. The forecast yesterday and going to morning was a perchance of some strong wind. There was a strong wind warning issued for the Illawarra coast. We predicted about 16 to 17 knots, which is what it was. But it also meant it restricted some of the areas that some of these guys could go to. So the guys going down to Basin View or up into Sussex Inlet, where we saw it today, a few guys, it means that a little bit of struggle to come back. A lot of these guys are doing 16, 17, and 18 kilometers each way. They'll sacrifice sometimes an hour and a half each way. So three hours out of your day is just getting to that spot where you think you're going to get the fish and come up on stage and be crowned winner of the Pro Lure Round. This particular weekend, we have had lots of help. We've had Doug Skidmore on the uh, media boat with us. We've had uh, mods helping out on the... Uh, <clears throat> key tag board along with Sue Fields. Rachel's been helping Jim. Jim's doing scoring and also Matt Petrie on the bump tub making sure all the fish are state legal limit. It also speeds things up up here. I don't have to measure the fish. We've also had Scott Garthon help us doing some logistics of bump tubs and launching boats. So with all these guys here that make these things happen, please put your hands together for all the volunteers and all the staff that make these things streamless. If Jim is ready and gives me the thumbs up, we've got that. We'll get things started. Now, the, um, in, I'll read the top five. In fifth place from Victoria, just won the China event, is um, David Shanahan. Fourth place, 2.44 kilos, Stephen Pryke. Third place from New South Wales at 2.54 kilos, remember that, is Glenn Allen. Bumping up to 2.55 kilos from Victoria is Corey Gallagher. He was leading for most of the day yesterday. Just slightly ahead is 2.69 is Richard Summerton from Victoria. Aaron Williams, you need 0.51 to take the lead. Yep, I'll do that for about five minutes. So we can the call the ways. comp today. So you got two fish. Cut the live stream, it's a done deal. It's done deal. All right, well, let's get you on the board. You're currently in eighth. You're going to take the lead here. Perfect. Bang. There you go, mate. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. <clears throat> Mark Young is next from New South Wales. He got one fish yesterday for 0.51 kilos, only one today. Unless that kilo is two and a half kilo of brim, you've got no chance. Yeah, no chance. No chance. All right. Nice fish, though. Yeah. I'm consistent. But consistent. All right. Here we go. Get you on the scales. We've got quite a few people to cycle through this afternoon. 0.97. Not too bad. Almost Thank a kilo you. fish. We weighed in uh, four fish that are over a kilo yesterday. One at 1.01, a 1.15, 1.17. As I said earlier, Corey Gallagher at 1.18. Andrew Taylor. Three fish yesterday, sorry, two yesterday, three today. That's better. You had a late penalty too yesterday, I believe. Only by a few minutes. You need 2.23 to take the lead. I don't think so. I don't either. But you had a good day on the water? Yeah, it was good. Any day on the water, fishing is beats them all on the lawn. That's how I look at it. All right. Going to come in at 1.67, puts you into fifth place. How long can you hang on? Not very long. <laughs> now, we saw a lot of people fish today, and not a lot of fish get caught. A lot of onesie twosies. We only saw three or four people with bags, so that top four position is definitely up for the money. Matt Jorgensen, we did not see him on stage. He could be in running for the Mortgage Corp Monster Mover. Two fish. How are you, mate? Good. Yourself? Good day in the water? Yeah, brilliant. It wasn't too bad. Where'd you get today? Um, straight across um, to the left of Sussex there. Okay. Yeah. Nice trip home? Yeah, very wild. <laughs> That's right. 0.62 kilos. Well done, Matty. Thanks. Thank you. We went out and measured when that wind first came through. We had an average of 15.3 knots, low of 12, and a high of about 17. So the wind was very, very consistent. Stuart Walker yesterday, two. Much better today. Three fish. You only need 1.9 to take the lead. 
don't think that's there. Ah, close, but no. it's all right. Can we get you in the top ten? We've got checks down to tenth when we get into these rounds. That would be good, wouldn't it? That would be awesome. All right, let's see what it comes in and weighs. 1.51, currently into third place. Beautiful, thank it's you. It's going to be a long afternoon yes. waiting for that check. Aaron Williams is still leading. Mark Halliday, did not see him yesterday. I like to see this. Another guy who'd be in the running for the Mortgage Court Monster Mover. One fish today. Good to see you, mate. How are you going? Very well, thanks. Toting that Hunter Water Sports jersey? Yeah. Did Sorry. you take tips from... Um, James again? No, nah, not today. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wouldn't. All right, 0.53 kilos. Well done. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Thank you. Maybe Byron, Colin, Francis, but James, I'm not too sure. All right, who we got next? Dylan Powell. One yesterday, one today. Consistent. Can you top yesterday's? I don't think so. I think it's a little bit lighter. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. That's right. Enjoy it? Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay. I guess so. It was good fun if you were fishing for flatties, but... Everyone caught flathead. How many yeah. flathead did you catch? 12 yesterday and probably close to that today, so... There you go. Maybe we should run a flathead comp. Yes. Point three nine. Well done, Matty. Thank you for coming to the event. Cheers, mate. Thank you. <coughs> ben Harris made the journey from South Australia. We led him across the border. One yesterday, one today. Well, it just didn't happen. Uh, the fish of a thousand casts, so. Only a thousand? <laughs> Something like <laughs> I that. I thought that had been half the day. <laughs> Where'd you get today? Uh, over there on the sand flat, right over there in the corner. I uh, hooked up that one, took me a while to get it, and then uh, I landed around to put it in the well and jumped back around, and I just see 100 fish just go. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. Here we go. One fish. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was good. Good time. Point four zero. All no right. Yeah. And no one from South Australia got arrested last night? No. Nah, okay. Just, uh, just checking. <laughs> That's all right. Never, you never know. You guys run amok a bit. Glenn Allen. Nice bag. Yet. What <laughs> happened? Oh, no. 2.54 yesterday. Actually, you only need 0. 0.51 to take the lead. How are you? Now, how many good. other fish did you catch today? I caught... Five brim, another estuary perch, and about ten flathead. Ten flathead. Got the real big ones. Ay, ay, ay. I would have not seen that coming. Do we have a new leader, though? Yeah. Put your hands together. Come on, let's start making some noise for some of these guys. Well done. Thanks, Steve. Thank you, Mike. He caught a massive estuary perch yesterday. Matthew Hooper. Three and three. Needs 1.05. You're currently in 11th place. 2.17 yesterday. Yeah, I might have it. You reckon? For one, yeah. Easy. How long are you going to hang on? Are there big bags behind you? Oh, I'm not sure. Not sure. All right. Let's see how high up the board he gets. 1.49. Come on, a new leader. Where did you catch these fish today? Over at the inlet. In the inlet. What were you throwing today? Pro lure. Pro lure? Ones, yeah. That's yeah. pretty convenient. Yeah. What lure was it? Yeah, I looked in the black one. The, the black yeah, 236. The yeah, yeah. You're a sponsor's dream. <laughs> I love it. Fantastic. <laughs> there you go, Gregory. <laughs> Gary Hansen. Battling out with Lex all the time. Three yesterday for 1.67. Two today. You only need two kilos to take out the overall lead. No. It's not a bad bag. God, you just needed one more fish. I uh, know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Close. Now, you're in the 60 to 64 Masters class. Going to come in at 1.79 second place. Not too shabby. Where'd you catch these today? Just around the corner. Just around the corner over Brim Beachway? No, just around just the corner. Just around. Do you want to weigh one of these for Big Brim? Yeah, just, just for the... I take the mic, you take the bag. You're chasing 1.18 kilos to knock off Corey for that atomic big brim. Nice brim indeed. Hmm. He's saying no? I'm saying 1.08. No, you 1.16. Better than you thought? Yeah. There you go. Not too shabby. 
tell you what, one more fish for three, and um, that's all right. Thanks, Dave. Good, well done. Jason Dean, none yesterday. I didn't think he was here. It's good to see you back, and you got three fish. How are you, mate? Good to see you. What did you do different? I mean, oh, it is nice to be standing in the line. Um, <laughs> I went the totally different direction and did something totally different, and it worked today. So, Well, there you go. At least you made the change, because yeah. what you did yesterday was average. Yeah, no, it didn't work yesterday. You always get fish. Three fish, can I come out? 1.42 kilos. Fantastic. Well done. Good to Thank see you on stage. Get the monkey off your back. Warren Allen didn't get any yesterday, which I thought he would get three, and three today. One yesterday. One yesterday. Yes, 0.60. Three today. You need three kilos to take the lead. No, yeah, or maybe if I put that weight on there. <laughs> That's about it. Bit better day. Yeah, it was a good day. What'd you change up? Nothing really. I went back and the fish were there. Okay, there All we right. go. Three fish. Gonna come in at one point five zero. Well done, mate. Put you Thank in the fifteenth for now. Awesome. Matthew Hooper is leading at three point six six. Gary Hansen, uh, three point four six kilos, and Glenn Allen at three point. 2-1 ran out the top three. David Ayton had three yesterday. Small bag, but not bad. 1.87. One today. That's okay. Tough day. Yeah, it was tough, Steve. I don't know. Did the same things and it didn't work. Yeah. So. Same lures? Uh, same lures. Yeah, yeah, did everything the same. Maybe you caught them all yesterday. Got eight or nine fish yesterday and one today. Okay. So. Radio. Right there we go. 0.56 kilos. Thank you. Like well say, done. I'd like to say thanks to Steve. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sean Hill, we had reports early on that he had a bag. Nice bag yesterday, three fish for 1.75 kilos, three today. All he needs 1.92 kilos to take the lead. What do you think? No chance. No chance. It's a good bag though. It's gonna bump you up. Chasing 192, let's see if we can get him up in the top money. 1.7 poor puts you into second place. Where'd you fish today? Oh, just around the corner. Up, up here? Just around the corner. What lures are you throwing today? Uh, Pro lure, violet shrimp, and um, muddy prawn. Thank you. Awesome. Well done. See how long he can have there. Like I said before, t checks into 10th. <coughs> Terry Grimmer is up next. One yesterday, two today. It's an improvement, but uh, t with Terry, he's just a very good angler. I'm very surprised he did not get fish on both days. But, as I said, more than half the field yesterday got zero fish, and you still landed fish on two days in a row. That's an accomplishment. Yes, yes. Yeah, so I dropped me third That's one. That's better. Before. Yeah. That's what I expect yeah, from Terry. Yeah. Yeah. I dropped a third fish just before that wind came up. Busted yep. me off on three pound, and that was my day done. So. Okay. We'll get you on the board, get you some points for those Angle of the Year points, 1.43. Thank you, mate. Thank you, Steve. Well done. Awesome. Anthony, come on up. Did not see him yesterday. Greg Reed said you better be on stage today. I'm here. <laughs> okay, we just wanted to make sure, you know. That's right. Better than yesterday, so. Yeah. All right, two fish. Part of the Pro Number Lure two. team, 1.10 kilos. Awesome. Thank you very Thank you, much. Steve. And uh, shout out to Pro Lure, the Pro Lure boys here this weekend. And um, also my other sponsor, Ghost and Line as well. Thank you. Awesome. Fantastic. Red Gill, South Australia. Good bag yesterday. Three fish for 1.79. You only need 1.88. Those two fish better be heavy. No, nah, they're not. They're not. <laughs> We saw you a few places today. Yeah, yeah. And Sussex was not kind to you? I didn't go there. Didn't you? No. Ah. no. Where'd you get today? Around the corner. Around the corner yeah, again? Yeah. You're in that big tr car park up there yeah, with all yeah. the boats? But I didn't get anything until 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. <coughs> Those two fish are 1.02 kilos. Jeez. There's a few people got the same spot on both days. <clears throat> John Clisby. Good bag yesterday. 2.21 kilos. Only two today. That's going to hurt. Yeah. Made the journey up. How are you, sir? Good. Good. Another pro lure. Did you throw pro lures again? Oh, I certainly did. The black. The black? Uh, S S36. S36. Yep. I'll tell you what. I'll have to admit, 
especially here at the basin, it is the go-to lure. It is just one of those lures. It's a very good lure. 1.55 kilos puts you into first place. Make some noise. Come on. Did you see that coming? No. With two fish? No. Probably about a quarter to a gun. I got two fish. That's it. My day's over. Yeah, I'm done. Now you got to find out how long you can hang in to get that 10th place. <laughs> we'll see. Well done, matey. Victoria taking the lead with 3.76 for six. Jeremy Thomas, another guy we didn't see on stage, but two today. It's always good to come on stage rather than get two donuts, as we call them. You were avoiding the donuts, weren't you? That was all that mattered. Definitely. No donuts. Nice fish. Yeah, it took a while to get them. I finally got them. What time did you finally get the fish? Ten. Ten o'clock? Yeah. Okay. Two fish are going to come in at 1.22 kilos. Fantastic. Hopefully, we've got more bags coming. Kane Terry. Probably disappointed yesterday, but he's got three today, which is always a good sign. He's finally worked it out what was going on. How are you, mate? Good. That's better. Yeah, two better. Yeah, two better. That's <laughs> all that matters. That's good. <clears throat> all right. Get you on here and cycle through these people. 1.63 kilos. Not a bad bag for three. Thank you, sir. Thank you. John Clisby is still leading at 3.76, Matthew Hooper at 3.66, and Sean Hill round out the top three at 3.49 kilos. Corey Gallagher is still leading Big Brim at 1.18. We didn't see you yesterday. No, I gave you a break, Steve. Oh, uh, you gave me a break. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One fish on the board, no double donuts. Coming at 0.58. Thank you, sir. No I'd it. just like to say thank you for putting me in a kayak for this weekend too and thanks to Gordon from Sun State for his help. Cheers. Not a problem. Awesome. Thank you very much. That's good. Scott Marskankowski was up early. He's already won the one prize, taking home the, the one. Okay, bag yesterday at 1.70 for three. Three today. Do you have two kilos for me? No, probably 1.1. Okay. It's going to be a very tight finish. We haven't seen any massive brim on stage yet. 1.39 puts you into sixth place. See if he hangs on. Well done, Scott. Billy Woods, veteran of Hobie Fishing Worlds and of the Australian Championship starting crew with Matt Petrie. These guys are an awesome combo. On stage, no double donuts for you. No double donuts. How are you, mate? Good, good. That's all right. Did we get the storyline right today? Or uh, I was a little bit out. A little bit out. Let you off. Let me off the hook. I thought so. That one of those gates was a little bit biased. I said if anyone's going to pick it out, it'll be Billy Woods will pick me out on this. Point six two. Well done, matey. Thank you. Thank you, Billy. Thanks very much. No worries. These guys were a vital part of the team at uh, Hobby Fishing Worlds number eight. Danny Jobson. Caught a massive Jewfish on Saturday and one fish. One today. Maybe you have some other fantastic stories of other big fish you caught? No, only thousands of flathead. Thousands of flathead. How big was that fish again? A meter 26. A meter, what, what do you think? It was 18 and a half kilos. 18 and a half kilos on six pound line? Yeah. And how long did it take you? About an hour a bit? An hour and a half. Hour and a half to land, but what a trophy fish. Was that yeah. the biggest one you've caught? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. There you go. So your weekend was actually not bad. Absolutely. Bingo, 0.49. Well done, mate. Thank you. It was a cracker of a fish. <coughs> okay, Chris Mace. That's not the walk of shame. Come on. You had a ripper of a fish, your personal best yesterday. You had a 1.15 St. George's Basin brim. And I got the smallest one of the day today. It, it's measured, that's all that matters. It's just. Uh, that's okay. Good day in the water? Yeah, great day till the wind got up. What wind? Ain't no wind out there. 0.38. Well done. Thank you. Average is 15 knots. Only. Only 15 knots. Zachary Morozov. Morozov. That's it. Three. Two days in a row. That is what we want to see. Works for the Australian bass angler, the hubby dealer out in Perth. Sorry, in Penrith. Not bad, not bad. 
You don't have 2.29, but it's good. I think it's a very consistent bag from yesterday. Very close, 1.41, puts you into eighth place, mate. Thank you. You'll find a lot of these anglers also work for the um, for hubby dealerships, and they're very much involved. Adriano Tosolini, three yesterday, one today. Wheels yeah. fell off. Ah, uh, yeah, one one bite, one fish. So that was it. That's right. Yeah. How many cast? <laughs> one thousand. One thousand cast. All right. Got the Life Aquatic gear on today. Point nine four. Hope you had a good weekend. I did, and thanks very much. No worries. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Turn this mic back on. That's better. <coughs> Jesse Thompson. Mr. Key Tag. Two yesterday. Much better day. Three today. How are you, sir? Yeah, I'm good with a couple <laughs> of hiccups, but yeah. That's okay. That's <laughs> good. That's all right. You just don't listen to James, that's all. No. <laughs> there we go. Just kidding, James. Three fish, 1.54 kilos. Puts you into 10th. You got to hang in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <clears throat> Jeff Alford, two fish yesterday, two today, 1.18. See if he can top yesterday's bag. He's saying no. I have to say, it's uh, the slowest I've seen the basin fish in a long, long time. But at least you've got some fish. Yeah, it's been tough. It's been tough all winter. Yes, it's, it has. Uh, but um, they're there. You just, you know, good, the good fish host can get them. Yeah, you just got to find them. Well done. Let's have a look. 0 0.90. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you. <coughs> John Clisby is still leading from Victoria. At 3.76, Matthew Hooper is uh, second, 3.66. And again, right at the top three is Sean Hill. Paul Hardiman is next, zero yesterday. One today, at least you're on stage. And that's what it's all about. How are you, sir? Another good yeah. day in the basin? <laughs> yeah, it was better than yesterday anyway. Uh, that's, fish. <laughs> that's okay. You got a fish, you're on stage. Yeah. That's what we're after. One fish is going to come in at 0.5. To remember, half the field did not yeah. catch yesterday. And thank Steve, you. look, thank you for all your uh, assistance over the years, uh, these last few years. It, not uh, a problem. Been doing the comps, and uh, it's been great. So thank, thank you very you. much. And all the best for the states. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you, Kevin Vardy. Two yesterday, one today. I'm sure he cast a thousand times today, if not two thousand. How are you, mate? Yeah, I'm okay. Where'd you fish today? Right over the other side. We couldn't find you. I started looking for you, and it's the only place we didn't go in that far bank. You would have ran out of fuel. All oh, right, right. Point six five. I think we almost did anyway. Let's go. Well done, Kev. Luke Rogan, Queensland, made the journey down. I believe you won the Port Mac round. Yes, he did. Yes. So three fish for 1.58. You need 2.19 to take the lead. What do you think? I'd be close. <laughs> I don't know. Huh? I really don't know. Should be. Should 2.19. Be I'm pretty safe. It's a good deal. Where'd you fish today? Same, just, same place as yesterday. A little bit higher? Sorry, same place as yesterday. Okay. We'll talk about that in a minute. 2.19. Do we have a new leader? Boom, 2.2, come on, congratulations, Sam. We'll have a bit chat later on for sure, but uh, you want to weigh one of these for Big Brim? Yeah, no, I don't, oh, might as well. Might as well, it's a $100 yes or no thing, it's not rocket science. It's either 1.18 or above, or it's not. Bingo, it's not, but let's see if we can get another kilo fish, another St. George's Basin specimen onto the record books. A little bit short, 0.89, well done. Nice fish for sure. Beautiful. Jarrett Fancet. Three yesterday. Good bag. 1.91. Three today. Chasing. You're currently in 30th place. You're chasing 1.93 kilos. Well, what do you think? Um, I think my bag's... Is that on? Everyone keeps hitting this button. There we go. Try that. Uh, I think my bag will be close to the same as what I got yesterday, so maybe. All right. You're chasing 193. 191 is yesterday. He reckons very similar. 
1.89 puts you in the second, but that's a very comfortable second with a not that many guys left. Well done, Mighty. You got to be happy with that? Yeah, yeah, happy with that. Um, also, everything was on a pro lure as well, so that's pretty stoked with that as well. Go see Greg Reed for sure. <laughs> This thing must just keep cutting out or someone keeps... No, they're turning the switch off here. Oh, it's, we'll tape this up next time. That's what we'll do. Jonathan Lawrence. Good bag yesterday. One today. What happened? I didn't catch any. You didn't. You caught one. <laughs> one. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was fun. It's a good weekend. Mm. Nice place. Yeah, first comp, so I really enjoyed it. Oh, first comp. First time in the basin? Uh, no, nah, I'm a local. Okay, local. So you, you know the waterway. Should do. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. One fish at 0 0.42. Well done, matey. Thanks, There's a lot of locals who also didn't get fish. I think the fish have worked out where you locals sh look for them. That's all. <laughs> James Jones, one yesterday, two today. Got the Gamagatsu jersey on. Another product distributed by Frogley's Offshore, a supporter of our series. How are you, mate? Yeah, it was a little bit better today. That's all right. Two fish are going to come in at 0.97. Well done, Matty. Thank you. Perfect. I'm going to change mics, Jimbo. Okay, Mitchell Madison. Didn't see him on stage yesterday. Two fish today. You got 3.84 kilos for me? How are you, sir? I'm good. Very that's, good. That's all right. Batted around in the wind. It was fun. Yeah, there's a little bit of wind later on. It we came on time, as we said, 13 knots at 11, and then it kept building from there at 1.10 kilos. Well done, matey. Thank you. Thank you. Still working. Luke Rogan from Queensland. Now, he just won the previous round, round number 10 at Port Mac um, from Queensland. Won quite a few different rounds this year. Jack Gaming. Ended up third place in Hobie Fishing World's number eight uh, up on the Gold Coast. Two fish yesterday, one today. Yeah, it was very difficult. <laughs> I had a short bite window today and missed the opportunities to put them in the boat. So You were down basin way? Yeah, all the way down at the base of you today. Huh. Okay. So. How long did it take you to get down there? Oh, I stopped along the way, but by the time I was down there, it was about 8.30. So 8.30? Yeah. Thank you. So about an hour and a half to get where he wanted to go to the, um, the hot spot. It just didn't pan out for him. That's the thing with the kayak fishing. You've got to make your commitments early on to where you want to go. Byron Hill got three yesterday for 1.55 kilos, two today. He's in 35th. He's hoping to get into the top 10 to bring home Maddie some money. She's picked out some new shoes. I think I'm going to disappoint her. <laughs> that was a good day. Not. Sorry, Maddie. Two fish, 1.40. Well done, tenth place. Yeah, thanks, Nick. You just in the check if everyone else doesn't weigh in. Where's Pete? Sleeping. Sleeping. Okay. <laughs> Pump, pissed. Byron Hunt. Byron, sorry, Brian Hunt. <laughs> I'm just sitting. You walk away for a second. One yesterday, one today. How are you, sir? Yeah, not too bad. Any Jewies today? No. Nah. No? No. Nah. All right. We'll see what happens here. <coughs> One fish. Many bags left, you think, Matty? There you go. Thanks. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. 15 or so more bags. I was trying to work out where I'm at in the scheme of things. Jason Mayberry. Two yesterday, two today. A local. Fishes quite a bit in quite a few of the brim comps in the power boats. Decided to hop on a kayak and have it a go and support the weekend. How are you, sir? I'm all right. It's all right. Just couldn't get the third. No, nope. two bites, two brim bites all day. Um, so at least I stuck them. Yep. There we go. One point two seven puts you up into eighteenth place. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Appreciate mate. it. Thank you. Tony Petty's next from Victoria. Respectable bag on day number one at 1.72. Three today. You need 2.12 kilos to take the lead. I've seen you do this before. I might be a bit short, but it's a bit close. Oh, jeez, you always do this to me. 
Uh, there's still some other good bags to come. It's, there are some good bags? Yeah. All right. 2.12 to take the lead in the round number 10. 2.07, third place, That's not bad. Now, like where did you fish today? Um, I don't know, way down there somewhere. Way down there somewhere. That's right. You're not from here. It's just no, way down there. That's, That's right. Well done for a good comeback. You. You're up into the uh, third position. So subject to how many weigh in, we can get you into a check. David Shanahan. Now, David was part of the Australian team who recently went to China and brought back a lot of cash. <coughs> Great bag yesterday. Three fish for 2.42 kilos. One today. He's a nice one, though. You need 1.42. He's not that nice, but he's no, nice. No, it'd be nice if there was two more. All right. Are we going to get you staying on the top five for a good check? It's going to come in. That's nice fish. 1.02 puts you into eighth place. That's going to haunt you for a little while, <laughs> but after little you won China, it doesn't really matter. I've had a good month. You've had a brilliant month. In China, they pay out the comps in U.S. dollars, and I think they took home maybe 14 or so thousand U.S. dollars. Very, very good. Tom McLean, Grand Master, 65 years of major. Good bag yesterday, 1.88 kilos. Three today, you need 1.96. Not going to do it. Ah, not a bad bag. It's a nice fish. Yeah, one little one, though. Jackal Chubbies? Jackal Chubbies. I changed it today. I used a pink eye instead of just the brown suji. Oh, that's not like you, mate. <laughs> one rod, one lure, one line. That's it. All right. Chasing 196. 186. Fifth place. Not too bad. Leading his division okay. and in the top five. Jackal Chubbies, old school. Stephen Pryke, good bag again yesterday. Wheels fell off today. <laughs> One fish. Oh, mate, I had you in my top five. You had a cracker of a bag yesterday. Yeah, I thought it was going to happen too. Like, after yesterday, I had more fish move into my banks, and I was surprised by how much was there, and went back this morning, clunked that fifth cast, I thought it's going to be on, and that was it. Okay. I believe you. <laughs> 0.58 right. drops you down. Thank well you. done, mate. There's a lot of people that were leading yesterday that have had marginal bags. John Rayo did not see John yesterday. Good to see him on stage. Got the Action Water Sports jersey on. How are you, sir? Yeah, good, mate. Man, you're the best. You drain your bag, you roll it up for me. Got I wish the you. rest of the guys. Maybe Matt would teach these guys how to do that. That would be really good. 0.47, well done. Huge. Glad to see you on stage. It's better than a drive home with no fish whatsoever. Matt Petrie. Did someone else measure his fish just out of curiosity? Just checking. You did? All right. And he's rolled the bag up and drained the water. Well done. I told you I made it up on stage. What do I need to take the lead? You need 3.84 kilos. It's going to go close. Take the lead. It's going to be gonna close. Go close. It's going to get close. Damn. Uh, there you go. 0.52. Nearly. Nearly. Thank you. Horseshoes and hand grenades. Jonathan Chin, ACT. Okay, bag yesterday. Two. Needed three today. Only ended up two. Tough bite out on the basin. Everyone's had a tough yes. go. This is not the normal basin. <laughs> when 55 or 56 people that I know are excellent anglers don't get fish. There we go. 1.15, not too bad. <laughs> what was that for? Or is that just Byron being Byron? There we go. Cheer, make some noise, Byron, please. Corey Gallagher. Now here we go, leading second place on day number one, 2.55 kilos, led for 90% of the day yesterday, needed three fish, g has two, you need 1.29 kilos. Hmm. Jeez. G'day kids, kids are watching at home on the live feed, Steve, so. Um, here we go. 1.29. 2.9 kilos from Victoria. Easily 1.67 kilos. 
Now, we know what you caught the fish yesterday. We kept it nice and quiet. You had on Facebook this stupid lure that you're trying to convince everyone that yeah, that's what you caught them on. Yep. You went to the islands again? I was at the islands all day. Um, I'm, this is my first time here. Okay. So I fished there and the pre-fish, then the wind got up, so I was kind of stuck there just trying to wait out for the wind to get down. So caught a few fish there and then basically decided that was my only spot for the weekend. Okay. Don't, know any, don't know any other spots, so I just stayed there and gr- grinded it out today and missed a couple of others, but got some good ones. So yeah. Do you want to weigh one for Big Brim? No, I already got Big Brim, so I don't want to beat myself. But <laughs> all right, just in yeah. case it was an upgrade. <laughs> Notice he did this, he's walking away. Yeah, I got big brim. I don't care what you got. <laughs> Here you go. Did I tell you I got big brim? Andrew Hancock. Good bag on day one. 2.10 kilos. Three on day two. You need 2.13. No way. Short by... Uh, 500 short. You reckon? Yeah. Okay. You need T13. 1.77 puts you into second place. Not bad, not bad, not bad. It's going to put you, depending on how many are left, it'll put you into some money. We're getting down to the pointy end of the stick, yes? Many bags left? Two bags left. All right. Lex, three for 1.14. Two today. He's got me. He's got gotcha. you. <laughs> Gary Hansen. There we go. Lex Cord and Gary go head and head the whole year. Point. There you go. One kilo even. Well done, Matty. Thank you very much. Just for reference, yes. I fished the islands all day today. Did you? I didn't do the same. <laughs> Wrong side. All right. How many bags left? Four bags left. So someone was fibbing. Mitch King, 2.15 yesterday. You need 2.80. Only two today. <laughs> no. Boy. Nah, that's not even going to make a kilo. Uh, okay. Got them really quickly and, like, literally in the first 20 minutes of fishing and yeah. that was it. Didn't then you called us up for a cappuccino. I broke two drives. I caught two fish. I had a great day, yeah. We were there to rescue them. You were. Like a little blue light on. Yeah. <laughs> 0.91. Well done. Let's do a slight little recap Thanks, of mate. where we're at in the scheme of things before the next bag. In fifth place from Victoria, 3.79 kilos is Tony Petty. Fourth place, 3.80. The weights are slowly creeping up from New South Wales is Jarrett Fancett. In uh, from Queensland, Luke Rogan, who won the Port Mac round, series number nine here, uh, at 3.83. You can see just slowly these grams creeping up. In second place from New South Wales, Andrew Hancock, 3.87. Corey Gallagher has got a little bit of a buffer from Victoria. He was second place yesterday at 4.22 kilos. Next is Troy Parsons. Had a good bag yesterday, just short of two kilos, 1.96. Really needed three fish, only has two. See if we can get him into a check, which we go back to the top ten with prizes as well. How are you, sir? Thank you. Good day on the water? Yeah, it was a good day. It's, it's not bad. Day. It was a pleasant day. And you get tomorrow off, so... Yeah, uh, no. Unfortunately, oh. I've got to work tomorrow, but that's all right. But you had today off. Yes. That's, that's okay. It. Is it going to land him in the top 10? Going to put him into 15th place. Well done, mate. Glad you came out for uh, the pro, pro lure round this weekend. Uh, awesome. Rightio. Corey, where are you at? Still smiling? How many t- bags are left? Two bags. Okay, next, Johnny Farnham, a.k.a. Richard Summerton. Leader on day number one, I think he's on the last four or five bags, 2.69. Three fish today, you need 1.54 kilos to take the lead. That's going to be close. <laughs> it's going to be close. Maybe 1.5. Two. Okay, <laughs> where's Corey? How you going, Corey? How's your nails? <laughs> One point five four to take the lead. One point six four. He did this to you yesterday. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. All right, and there's one. All right. Uh, before I go, I'd like to. Uh, 
Thank you, Steve. Um, we've all been part of the series for a number of years. Me, probably nearly 10. Um, yeah, so it's been a wild ride. You've done more for this kayaking sort of fishing tournament scene than anyone else in the world. You've got the worlds. You've made me the angler I am today because, geez, I've got to travel the world. I've got to chase all these different species and I wouldn't be able to do it if it wasn't for you and your vision of getting all this going. So thank you very thank much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, Mr. Morley got second at Hubby Fishing World's number eight. I just thought I'd say that. Don't come up yet. I'm not done. Three fish yesterday for 2.23 kilos, toting a horrible mustache. <laughs> you need 2.11. Now you come up here. You can leave all that water in there you want because I'm going to drain it out. 2.11 kilos. That's the last bag, yes? I think it's going to be this close. Second on the Gold Coast by how much? Uh, 40 grams. 40 grams. Mate, this... It's going to be close. You guys, between Chris <laughs> Purnell trying to kill me last two weeks and you guys at Gold Coast, my heart has not been the same. I've lost seven kilos because of you guys. Thank you very much. All right. Keep draining, Corey. Should I keep draining a bit no, more? No, just put it on. All right. 2.11. If this happens, make some noise. Come on. 2.1. Do we have a new winner? 2.11? 2.14, yay! Get out! Oh, ha, 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 ha. oh, goodness gracious me. Did you want to weigh one for Big Brim? Not even, not All right. even worry about it. Here's our normal thing. We shut things down for a second. We go on scoring. We correlate things. And within three minutes, we're going to come back and we'll start that presentation. And we'll have a chat to you later on in a different position. Yes, we will. Thank you. A happier position. Oh, yes. <laughs> well done. Just give us three minutes and we'll make this thing roll. And Greg Reed is somewhere. Have we got the markers down for the release area? Yep. Okay. Hey, Greg, you want to come up for two seconds? I'll just run through what we do. Okay, I've just brought up uh, Greg Reed from Pro Lure. They are the naming rights sponsor for this particular weekend. They joined the Hubby Series, I believe, two years ago. Um, and it's just really good to have this company on board. What I really like about Pro Lure is the, the talent you guys have in your design team to design lures that really catch the fish. And I think that's one of your models of Pro Lures. Buy anglers for anglers. Buy anglers for anglers. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us a little about Pro Lure. 
Uh, look at it. Um, and there's a camera you want to stare at. There actually, you go. forget about Prolua. <laughs> let's just talk about Steve. No, no, let's not. No, no, come on. Let's talk about Steve's contribution. I'm not going to make you cry, but uh, for me, it started in 1994 in a little place called Durian Bay in Western Australia. I was actually about 68 kilos. I'm not as not as finesse as I am now, and um, I was a rock lobster fisherman. If, um, from memory and we had nine islands in this town and we used to sail out to these islands on a Hobie 16 and lo and behold they had a regatta that weekend in town and I was going to be moving back to Sydney and this um, this Seppo was running the, running the regatta in at Durian Bay and um, competed in the regatta and sold him a boat on the beach and I think I did you a good deal too and That's it. and it was uh, quite interesting then to move back to the east coast and Oh, look, the surf's really good here. The fishing's really good here. We thought Jervis Bay would be a good place to live. And lo and behold, there's Hobie <laughs> kicking it off down here in Huskisson. And look where it's gone. Mm. And it's not many of us get to achieve or, or to live out our passion, you know. And on a day-to-day thing, I think that's a really important thing. And have the energy and the drive that you've had to basically, with your team, I might add, to change the face of how we recreate in this country and how we recreate in the world. It's been quite a phenomenal um, growth ride to watch this little business go from one little shed to a, a whole goddamn block. <laughs> and um, look where we are now. And so it's, thank you. it's been fantastic, it. Steve. Thank you. You've, uh, thank you. We, we can't thank you enough no, and, thank and your you. team and wish you all the best um, with you. the move back to the States and the next stage that you're going through because we just all go through stages, don't we? That's it. No, thank you very much. I appreciate yeah. it. Appreciate Thank it. You. So do we. Right. So do we. All right. Now to Prolure. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the, the association's been long and fruitful. So uh, Prolure sort of kicked off in 2012, and um, my experience was sort of based as a professional guide, having spent a 1,000 days on this lake, and these Prolure things just started catching fish, and they started out fishing that jackal chubby thing, which is still a good lure. But uh, So I thought I'd better pay attention. And anyway, look, it basically kicking on now where we're, we're covering you know nearly a hundred stores in eight countries and we are the underdog um and we in the great big um, scheme of things in the tackle industry but we're trying to design the hard thing is to design lures which are unique which have fish catching ability and i think this little black crank for example is just s36 it's boring it's so good mm. it, it just like if you want to catch a fish not any just any fish throw on a black crank bait and um and you know the proof is in the pudding and this place here ha- certainly has delivered over the years so um, it's not all about brim though it's certainly expanded outside of that you know the guys up in the territory now with a 200 mil xl shad um, for barra and um, mulloway particularly are doing good things up there and look but we're really we're really proud to be given the opportunity to to have the association with um with hobie particularly and and the whole kayak fishing lifestyle and um, look thanks very very much to, to everybody who's who's bought one of the pro lures and, and continues to support us. And, um, yeah, thanks very much. Put we're your hands together for pro Year, a fantastic sponsor of the Hobie Series. All right, we're going to take and hop into, I'll take the mic, into the uh, presentations. We're going to start off in the women's division. If you want to grab the women's. And we'll bring up Tracy Williams. Where's Tracy at? We had a couple of girls fishing. Is she here today or she's already gone? Unsure? Okay. Well, don't see Tracy. All right, we'll go next to uh, the Masters Division. Go to Masters. Not bad. <laughs> Gary Hansen, where are you at, Gary? Had three fish on day one for 1.62, two on day two for 1.79, five fish in total for 3.16. Well done, Gary Hansen. They compete in the Open Series, but they also have their own division. Well done. Yep, side by side to get a photo here with Dale Baxter. Champion. There you go, mate. Look at the camera. And next in the Grand Masters Division, 64 plus, is Tom McLean. Six bag lemon. He mixed the bad the whole time. 3.74 kilos from the South Coast. Tom McLean. Put your hands together, please. There we go. There you go. Yeah, good to see you. Hey, no, 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 photo time, I hear Dale Baxter trying to hide away, there you go. All right, we also have a division called First Time Anglers, and the idea is to encourage people to come down and find out what these events are. Some people get wor- scared of the word competition, it gives them the ability to come down and find out we're just a bunch of larrikins, we have fun, and we just want to go fish and have a great time. And the First Time Division is Leanne Moss, where's Leanne? Nice little prize pack. 
from the bottom here. You hit the nail on the head there. It's not all about competition. That's what I like about the whole yak thing. It's so inclusive. It's such a good bunch of people and it's really supportive. Well done, Leanne. Your first comp. No, no, photo time. Oh, no, no. There you go. Fantastic. Monster Good Mover will be next. Mortgage Corp. Uh, moving. The, where did you move the cursor? Right there. That 43? Yep. Okay, Monster Mover from Mortgage Corp. Neil Carstairs, I know, is watching. The, the most improved angler from day one to day number two. Zero fish on day one. Smashed it on day two. Three fish for 1.42. Jason Dean. Come on up, Jason. Well done, mate. Big JD. I reckon he was sandbagging that just to get the Monster Corp, mor Mortgage Corp Monster Mover. That was it. And we're going to go ahead and do Big Brim next. We know who that is, but you got to do it. Big Brim next. Right there on the right hand side. Corey Gallagher, 1.18. Come on, he's got the big brim. Nailed it. This is from Atomic. Thank you. <laughs> Thank One for the camera. All right, now we get into the money. This is what it's all about, some of it. In 10th place, six fish for 3.66 kilos. Uh, Matthew Hooper from New South Wales taking home $190 for his efforts. Well done, Matthew. Not bad. Couple of pro little crankbaits in there, mate. Thank you. Cheers. All of our sponsors provide these products to us, and we hand them straight back to you guys, and there's some quality gear in there which is important. In the ninth place, taking home $230. The dollars are slowly going up. Six fish for 3.74 kilos is Tom McLean in the Grand Masters. So he not only took home the bacon in his own division, he's taking money off you kids as well. This is great. That's what I like about these divisions. It's really good. I've actually fished a few tournaments with Tom in the past. It's been, um, been a bit of a blast. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, the silver fox knows a thing or two, that's for sure. Eighth place, $270. Five fish for 3.76 kilos from Victoria, John Clisby. Come on up, John. Toting the pro lure jersey and the hat. That one fish could have made a few hundred dollars difference. Actually, about $400 difference. <laughs> Just counting. <laughs> Two pro lure guys, look at this. Radio in seventh place, $310. Six fish for 3.79 kilos from Victoria, Tony Petty. Well done, Tony. Seventh, did you say? Seventh, seventh place. Did I give away seven already? Yeah. Oh, it's hard to get good help, isn't it? You guys can argue that point. Come on up, Tony, no matter what. Which one do I have to give you? At, your to give John you is eight. There you, there go. you go. And Number he's eight. in seven. Number seven. <laughs> Photo time. In sixth place, six fish for 3.80 kilos, taking him home. $350 is Jarrett uh, Fanset. Jarrett, where are you, mate? Nice little payday there, $350. Now the dollars really start to go up. Got Matt Black. Three fish on day one at 2.10, three fish on day two at 1.77 kilos, six fish for 3.87, $460. Andrew Hancock from New South Wales. Well done, Shorty. Fifth, was it? Um, fifth. fifth? Did I miss one? I did. I missed fifth place. We'll get that in a second. There you go. Andrew fourth. Hancock. Just stay there. Andrew's fourth. Yep. My apologies. In uh, 
my mistake, in fifth place, six fish for 3.83, two cracking bags, three fish for 1.58 on day one, three at 2.25, one the port mac round, taking home $390 from Queensland. Luke Rogan will help pay for the trip home. Not bad. Toting the Sun State Hobie jersey. Gordon McGivray up there is the Sun State Hobie now. It's been there for nearly two years and support probably about four or five different anglers to attend these events around Australia. That's very good. Now we go on to the trophies in third, second, and first. In third place, winner of Big Brim. Three on day one for 2.55. Light bag on day two, 1.67. 4.22, taking home $1,000, Corey Gallagher. Coming up, Corey. And make sure you hang around and get a photo of the top three. Okay. In second place. Three for 2.69 on day one, three for 1.64 on day two, six for 4.33 kilos. Taking home $1,540 is Richard Johnny Farman. <laughs> nice Daiwa rod and reel, and a nice check to take home to Tanya. And again, we'll catch up with a photo for you guys in a minute. In first place, get right to the point, six fish for 4.37 kilos from New South Wales, taking home 2,960 smackaroos, Simon Morley. No more the bridesmaid. No more the bridesmaid. <laughs> Britt, this check is for you. <laughs> Definitely. Britt said, Britt said she wants me to give you a big hug. And kiss. <laughs> That's all right. Not for that mustache. Now we have to have a bit of a chat. Greg, I thank you very, very much for Pro thank Lure coming up here, you, for sir. being a sponsor yeah, and supporter, yeah, you, and look forward to it. Thank you so much for the next couple of years. What a small, you can't buy that, can you? Pity about the mustache, but yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding you. That's yours? Thank you. Well, did you well, see that coming? No, I didn't. I Tell didn't. us about your day. What did you do yesterday? Where did you fish? We found you one or two places, but not many. Uh, yesterday, I fished the outer island up there. Yep. So I don't know what it's called. But sure. The outer island, I just found on pre-fish. I was actually going to fish the deep all weekend. And at a last resort on pre-fish, I paddled past that corner on the island and it, it just looked too good not to have a cast, and I put one cast in there and pulled a cracker. And I thought, oh, maybe it's a one-off, and I put another cast in there and pulled another one. I thought, oh, right, Whoa, out of here. <laughs> that, that could have haunted you. Yeah, I know. That could have haunted you. There could have been two fish on so, it. So, yeah, yesterday I went straight up to the islands and had my bag by 20 past 8. I just This morning? Yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Walked around the island, had my bag. Um, Did you see Corey along the way? Yeah, Corey was on okay. the other island. So uh -huh. <laughs> it was swap and go for a while. We were swapping islands. And today I did the same thing, just powered straight back up to the corner of the island, got one second cast, got one five casts after that, I think. So I had two, and I shot across to Pat's Bay, I think it's yes, called. Yes, I know it. I got one on the corner there where the rocks are, just a legal, so I was happy to have my bag. And then. Uh, what time was that? Uh, just after nine o'clock. Nine o'clock? Yeah. That makes an easy day, doesn't it? Does. It, it, it takes some of the pressure off, that, and yeah. then you can go, all right, now I just get the big fish. Yeah, and then so from Pat's Bay, I started going up one side, and it just got really weedy, so I thought, oh, I'll shoot to the other side. I've never fished up there, and it looked so good. There was diggings and you know holes everywhere, and I just persisted along there and got two good upgrades, so it sort of helped me. And that's it. I didn't I only caught five brim today, so five that's right. brim today and seven brim yesterday. Were the lures yesterday and today the same lures? Same rod, same leader, same tell us lure. About, tell us about the lures you're using this particular weekend. Because uh, so a lot of people are watching. They've fished here before. They maybe never have caught fish or are going to yeah. come and fish here the first time. What's some of the lures that you'd steer them to that can make you win this tournament today? Yeah, so um, I'm looked after by Peter Nord Hurricane Lures. Yes. And I was just throwing the Fat 37 in the Black Magic all weekend. 
because I don't know why yellowfin like black lures, but they do. Mm. So I just sat with that. I used the same lure. I didn't lose it. Just had to change trebles a few times, and I didn't even change my leader, believe it or not. <laughs> that's I actually slack. run out of leader <laughs> before I come down here. I thought, oh, it'll be right. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Now, what rods, reels that you're using? So I'm using rods from 13 Fishing. I was using a um, Muse Gold. Yep. Um, I think it's six nine, uh, two to six kilos, so it's pretty light. It is. Yep. Um, and a uh, uh, one thousand Luvius. Luvius. Daiwa Luvius. Yes. Old one. One of the uh, kind of purpley coloured ones? No, no, the old silvery Oh, one. silver one. That's yeah. even really oh, older again. One with a really loud drag, so everyone knows when you've got a fish <laughs> oh, on That's all right, then. <laughs> the uh, line class you're using, straight through fluoro or are you no, using braid was, and leader line? I was using 10-pound um, braid and 5-pound leader. 5-pound leader. What brand of leader uh, are you using? FC Rock. FC Rock was pretty yeah. much staple that way. Yeah. Um, well... Hopefully this makes up for the Gold Coast. Probably not. No, not quite. But not quite. It's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never leave that one down. No, I do because it's uh, that was a very charging finish of being that close. Oh, it was. It, it was, was awesome. It was that of close. all the fishing events I've done in Australia and all the worlds that had to have been probably the highlight. And you just missed out. Yeah. You to climb back over this and come here. You're at least going to go now. Going. This is good clear conscious i've nailed this and it's been a while since you've actually won one of it's these been a long time it's been a long time I think, uh, first one i won was bem 2015 so okay it's been a long time, long time between drinks yeah so um very much please push your hands together for the winner of the st george's bound it. all the way through and if i can get first second and third up dale baxter will get some photos on that um thanks. thanks to you to you steve no for worries. what richard said putting all these events on like we wouldn't be here today without you, so thanks very much for that. No, thank you. Appreciate it. That's all right. It's good. <laughs> Silly buggers. Um, look, I, we do this for a whole bunch of reasons, and one is the fact that we like to go fishing and have a bit of fun. These events aren't possible without you guys showing up period. So, um, thank you. <laughs> now, I'd like to um, get Jim Barry on stage. These events are not possible without Jim Barry. Period. Don't go away. No, 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 no. So there's a lot in store with what's going on. You know, we've got a very, very good foundation of what works and what doesn't work. We've got a few electronic agreements, but at the end of the day, what Jim has put together and I've put together and the whole team have put together over all these years, starting back at Hen and Chicken Bay in 2009, I think it's a fairly structured thing. I think it's one of the fairest comps that are out there. We're very strict on rules. I don't know who gave me the word Dark Lord. But we run a very tight comp. And we do it because there's money involved, there's safety involved, and we want it to be fair to everybody. You win because you're a champion. That's how it works. It's not anything else. It's not, oh, well, they, my bag had water in it. We just try to make it as fair as possible. Um, and going forward, there's not a lot going to change. Jim is still going to be here. We're moving some chairs around. So we're in good hands. We're very, very fortunate that we have our sponsors who've been there for day one. We've got a two-year deal with these guys and three with some. And with your energy and your support, these things will just keep going. In the early days, we had lots of fun. In the middle of that 2007, 2012 period, it got a, where Jim and I weren't even having fun doing these. It was, it was work, all right? These are our weekends. We, when's the last time you went fishing? Christmas. Christmas. I got a boat that Krama owns that I had one year. I got 30 hours on it. I don't get a chance to go fishing. We do that to give up the weekends. But then something changed about two years ago. And everyone just wanted to go fishing and have fun. And that's what this whole series is about. Our sailing background is about going to the beach, drinking beer, and telling lies. It's no different than you guys. All right? You just got a kayak instead of a sailboat. So we're all doing the same things. We're going to continue doing what we do best. 
And I know you're in good hands with Jim Barry, and I cannot thank you. Now, I'm not leaving Hobie, so I've got a, a full-time job, thanks to Doug Skidmore. Um, still involved in a new venture. Um, heavily involved in trying to grow the business internationally, which is what we can do. I know I can do that. But also involved in event management. So it's going to be in the sailing side and the fishing side. We've got the thumbs up for Hobie Fishing World to continue, and we're going to try to improve that to another level, mainly with electronics and really get some broadcasting to leverage sponsors here. Um, I know there's quite a few worlds that are in the pipeline, and you guys really, if you can make the Australian team, we've got some very good things on the card. Um, it's been a real cool ride, and uh, with that, I just say good night and thank you very much. <laughs> I'm glad that you didn't have the flowers wearing stockings, that's all I'm <laughs> trying to say. <laughs> then you were, he was going to put little red lines and black lines down the back of his stockings this morning and I was going to yeah. say I'm out of here. No, nah, not at all. Two ends for beginners. Try that. All right, thanks. Thank you. All right, so we all know where we're at. Um, I think there has been plenty said. Um, I think it's all been very clear and very concise, so thanks, Reedy. Um, I really like the way you termed that, mate. It really, really came out great. There is, is in no way goodbye. We all know that. Um, I don't think there's anything that I can say that hasn't already been said. So, guys, um, there's been obviously two halves of this equation. This is obviously the face of, and Steve does that, what we don't see is, is Susie so much at these events. Um, but without Sue, as Steve was just saying, without Jim, without Sue, he's not here either. So can everyone put their hands together for the, for the fishing widow, I guess, that, that Susie may have been over the years. Um, we genuinely appreciate all the support that you give Steve so that he can come along and be what he has been to all of us over the last 11 seasons. Um, this is in no way, I don't think, uh, I guess, it's, it's a token. It's, it's a thank you. There's a few other guys that jumped on board and said, hey, what can we do? And... I don't know this represents it in its entirety, but it is for Steve Fields, the founder of the Hobie Kike Fishing Series. Congratulations and thank you, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Um, without too much more emotion, <laughs> um, we're going to sing happy birthday again. We're going to have some cake. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to have a relax. And um, on three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Steve. Happy birthday to you. Hip -hip. Hip -hip. Hip -hip. Thank you very much, and um, we'll stay in touch. I'm not going anywhere. Thanks again for supporting the series, and look after the guys after I leave, and uh, I'll touch you on Facebook for sure. But uh, this is very, very cool, so thank you. And if I can just go back really quickly and thank John and Julie that did all the prep work for us today in making those roast beef rolls. Um, yeah, without you guys, thanks. Ta.